our team goals remain the same. They've always, we're going to try to be, win every game that we play and try to win the NESCAC. Well, number one goal is to go 8 and 0. We understand that uh, nine of the last 10 years, the NESCAC champion in, in football has been undefeated. So, you know, pretty much every week is a, is a playoff game in this league. Every year we set a goal of, of winning the NESCAC championship, and usually that's achieved by going 8 and 0. We have a lot of talent in, a, in our, uh, on our roster, but we got a lot of question marks and uh, have to see how guys pull together and see what kind of camaraderie we have and all those types of things. What's new about this year's team is we got a lot of young guys coming in. Um, last year's team was very senior laden in terms of the defense, but um, offensively we're turning a lot of starters. I believe it's 9 out of 11. The league has gotten much more diverse over the past few years. There's, uh, there's, you know, more good teams than maybe there were eight or nine years ago. And, you know, you see something like Bates beating Williams last year at Williams. And those types of games, you know, are, are not as much of a surprise as they were 10, 15 years ago in the league. As is true with every other year, the NESCAC is very strong this year. And uh, every game, we take every game, one game at a time, but every game is definitely going to be a challenge. Yeah, it, you, you certainly have your favorites. I mean, Amherst has been on a roll the last couple of years. Williams has, has been very, very good for 20-something years. And, you know, I'd like to think that people feel that way about us. But the, the Bates and the Bowdens and uh, the Middlebury's, you know, they've, they've been very, very competitive the last few years. We're really looking forward to, uh, to our Week 2 matchup with Williams going up to Williamstown. And also our homecoming game against Amherst is always a, it's always a big game. So those are, those are two that we're definitely gearing up for. But again, it starts off with Bates and one at a time from then on. An the all-time rival was Wesley and they, they look pretty good. They're coming off the season, a 4-4 season. And they have, they have a new coaching staff and all that. So they, they should be pretty good. Well, the thing that stands out about this year's team is our offensive line. We have you know, four senior starters that have started a lot of football games. Our strengths of the team is definitely our offensive offense. We have the offensive line returning five guys on the offensive line. We're running back, the offense is going to be pretty strong. Offensive line obviously is, is a strength, and uh, you know, if you look at the tailback position, I wouldn't trade the two we have for anybody else in the league. You still see that same hunger in the eyes of most of the players. Um, Many people know this, but we still have the home win streak on the line. We have 43 games. Um, we went at home, I believe we haven't lost since 2002, since the new term has been put in. So guys are still hungry to compete and to uh, uh, maintain that record. So. We have a great coaching staff who recruits very well. So we always get a bunch of, we get a bunch of recruits who are pretty good, or really good actually. And it's helped the team contribute to our um, tradition. We're very proud of the consistency that we've had uh, recently. But we're hungry to win the championship. It's been 2008 since we had the championship. We've been in second place the last few years, so. Make some noise in the NESCAC this year. Absolutely. Go Bams. Go Bams. <laughs>